it's Thursday, which means it's time for another video. If you watched my last video, I asked you guys to ask me some questions. It can be horror related, non horror. Um, yes, yeah, so that's what we're doing today. I've done this before in the past. This is like a part two. Um, that's probably what I'll label the video as. But I wrote all the questions on a piece of paper just because I can't really go back to my um, the video right now and um, look up the questions. So the first question is from Bioshockboy21, and he asks, what do you do outside of YouTube? P.S. I love your videos. Keep up the great work. Thank you. I try to do um, the best videos as possible, even if they're just reviews. Um, I kind of keep a schedule every Monday and Thursday just because um, it's good to keep a schedule. It makes things run smoother, I think, but um, I'm totally going off topic there. But he said, what do I do outside of YouTube or what do I, what do I do outside of YouTube? Um, I actually recently, um, this past weekend, I went to my local drive-in um, to a thing called Zombie Fest. It was Zombie Fest 6. Um, um, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. We didn't stay Sunday. But, um, Sunday they did the, um, all three Maniac Cop films, which is cool, but, like I said, we didn't go Sunday. But, um, Friday they did Shivers, um, Frankenhooker, and Sugar Hill, which I haven't, I did not watch, I've seen Frankenhooker, but we fell, my fiance and I, we fell asleep after Shivers, but, um, Saturday was honestly the best night. It was Day of the Dead, Return of the Living Dead, and Reanimator. We stayed up for Return of the Living or Day of the Dead and Return of the Living Dead, but we got really tired, so we didn't stay up for Reanimator. But I've seen Reanimator before at the drive-in. I've been in the drive-in so many times. I've seen so many horror films at the drive-in. Um, it's just a fun place. That's basically what I do outside of um, doing YouTube. I also collect. This stuff is not mine. Um, a lot of the stuff isn't mine. It's mostly my fiance's. Yeah, I'm actually watching a video right now. But um, right here is all, are all my um, recent Blu-rays. Not recent, but um, a lot of Blu-rays. I actually um, have a lot more movies just like in my room. Plus, there's like a huge closet full of movies. Um, I collect masks too. And down here... Um, but that's basically what I do. I like to collect. Um, I know that's not very um, uncommon. A lot of people collect. But that's what I really, really love to do. But yeah, that's basically what I do outside of YouTube. Um, the next question is by Ryan Herman. And he asks, what are some of your favorite summer horror films? Now, Sleepaway Camp is a must. Um, if you've watched my videos, I have noted that Sleepaway Camp is my favorite horror film of all time. And it is a... Uh, summer like camp slasher film um another one that I watched not that long ago for the first time it was called um the final terror that, that technically counts as a summer like a summer horror film burning's a good one just before dawn um trying to think of other all the Friday 13s just like the, there's a lot madman's a good one too that not a lot of people talk about it's a fun film as well those are just some of my favorite like summer themed horror films and i actually because uh, shutter even though i have them on blu-ray i don't know why i watch them on shutter but um shutter just for the for the month of july they put well they put back on um sleepaway camp and then they put sleepaway camp two and three on too so I watched uh, Sleepaway Camp 2 and 3 yesterday. 3 isn't that great, but 2 definitely is it's a fun film. I that is good that's a good like summer themed horror film. But like I said, I don't know why I watched them on Shutter when I have them on Blu-ray. But yeah. The next question is actually from my fiance's little brother, Jason Coffin. <laughs> and he asks, "Do you like the Beatles?" <laughs> it's because they always listen to the Beatles. Um, yes and no. Some songs I do not like, but there are song a lot of songs I do like. Probably my favorite is Yesterday or Strawberry Fields Forever. Those are, those are probably my favorite Beatles songs. But yeah, <laughs> 
Next question is from J Dog Johnson, and he asked, "Have you seen Orphan from 2009?" Yes, I have seen Orphan. It's been quite a while since I watched Orphan, but I remember I when I got the DVD many years ago, I um kept the watch watching it constantly. I just love Orphan. Like Orphan's a great movie. One of those good twist endings too. Um, if you want me to do a review of that anytime soon, I, I will gladly do a review. I'm gonna probably re, re eh. I'm gonna probably rewatch it soon just because. But yeah. All right. Next question is from James Moss, and he asked, "Do you like football? My favorite team is the Chargers. Also, can you do a review of Hello Mary Lou, Prom Night Two, or Nightmare on Elm Street Four: The Dream Master?" Um, I'm not a big football fan. I personally, I can't really get into football. I know there's a lot of people out there that like football. I prefer baseball over football. But the thing with baseball is I like to go see the games in person rather than watch them on TV. I just personally has my preference. And um, I can do a review of Hello, Mary Lou, Prom Night 2. I have to rewatch it. It's been forever. I think it's still on Shudder. I actually got a chance to... Um, Back in September, we they did a thing at the drive-in called Horror Prom, and they played the original Carrie, and then, like, a secret feature, and they played Hello, Mary Lou, Prom Night 2. But, like, halfway through the movie, my fiancé and I got super tired, so we went home. Because at the time, we only lived, like, five minutes away from the drive-in. And, um, didn't get to finish watching it. So, kind of pissed about that, because that's, like, such an odd movie to see at the drive-in. But I can totally do a review of that as soon as I watch it. But I will definitely do a review of Nightmare on Elm Street 4, The Dream Master. Because I've done 1, 2, and 3. But yeah, I'll definitely do a review of that. The next question is from Old School, Day Old School Dave. And he asks, are you into any horror-related music? When I looked at that question, I didn't know if he meant like, scary, like bands that are kind of like scary like they have like a scary vibe or just like horror themes stuff from horror soundtracks i do have a playlist on my phone called horror movie themes and it's not just horror movie themes it's songs from horror movies or or music from like scores from a horror soundtrack so i do like that stuff um i have a lot of uh like music on there just all over the place. Some of my favorites are there's a theme from Sleepaway Camp, Angela's theme. I absolutely love that song. Um, Nightmare from Nightmare on Elm Street for the Dream Master, sung by Tuesday Night. I absolutely love that too. I, it just the list goes on and on. There's so many like John Carpenter's Halloween will always be some. It will that will always be like my favorite um, horror soundtrack score. Halloween three is a close second. I just love those scores the most but yeah I do I really like horror related music and then the last question I didn't get first of all I didn't get a lot of questions like last time that's okay um I definitely will do another one of these at some point I like to take a like a break between reviewing and then do this and then I'll do another um question and answer video soonish maybe like next month but the last question is from what pisses me off aka John Frera. If you don't know who What Pisses Me Off is, or who he is, John, um, I have done fan films with him, I've done podcasts, so many fan films, like, I have a, a specific, uh, specifically have a playlist on my channel of horror movie fan films I, I was in, and the majority of them are stuff that I've done with him, and he's a great person. He asks, what do I think of Scream? Now, I... This might piss a lot of people off. I'm not a big Scream fan at all. The only ones I really like are the first one and the fourth one. I just can't really get into them that much. Um, the Scream TV series was... Season 1 was good. And after that it was shit. But, um... It's, it's an alright franchise. I wouldn't put it up there with, like, the four, the four greats. And I count the four greats as, like... Leatherface, Michael Myers, um, Freddy Krueger, and Jason Voorhees. I wouldn't put Ghostface up there just because it is a different killer each movie. I just can't really get into these movies. I know John loves the Scream movies. I personally am not a fan of them, 
but hey, it's an opinion. But yeah, that's basically my answer video. It's, I know it's only 10 minutes, not very long, but those are all the questions that were asked. So yeah, um, like I said before, I will totally review Nightmare on Elm Street 4 on Monday. Um, but if there's a movie that you guys want me to review, comment down below on this video. Let me know what movie that is, and I'll be sure to get to it as soon as possible. In the meantime, I'll see you guys on Monday.